So today I'm going to be doing another coffee crime and chat video and I'm going to be focusing on the whole Kanika Jenkins case. Um, I guess you can call this a part three um, because right now it's really um, a lot going on. A lot is coming out. A lot more new stuff is coming out about the case. Um, as many of you know, there's an MTV documentary going on by True Life and they're basically covering Kanika's um, case. So um the documentary actually airs tonight as I film this video the documentary air tonight for the first the first episode of it and I'm definitely going to be watching and I'm definitely going to do a video reviewing that so stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you've not already and also subscribe for some more coffee crime and chat videos I'm going to have a lot coming out this week so you definitely want to subscribe to my mm -hmm. channel for that um was my dog so anyway um, I'm going to be in this video because as I told you there's a lot of new things that popped up I'm going to be basically covering um, just looking at things with a different lens because I'm starting to see things that it's like the puzzle is starting to come together and I just want to like sit here and kind of dissect it with you so today mainly and I don't like putting this in a video but I'm going to be looking at we're going to be looking at evidence that we have in front of us because to me everything is in pictures so um to me the pictures from when she was found in the fridge have a whole lot of just evidence that i'm seeing um and i'm going to show you things like give you my theories based on the pictures so grab your coffee grab your tea and let's get into this coffee crime and chat let's go down. so the first bit of evidence in the pictures like on the pictures in the fridge was the fact that, that her face was covered and I'm going to insert a um, picture like in this video so you can see what I'm talking about but her hair was covered in a lot of the pictures so I'm guessing that's how they found her body that was the first picture they took because you wouldn't um, police to me unless they're involved they're not going to tamper with the first image and they're not going to just move the hair out of the way i think they moved the hair out of the way after they got that picture of her initial finding because um they wanted to get every kind of picture like they want every angle and they moved it just so they can take a picture of her face as well to show how her face looked inside there so i'm going to put the images of um what i'm talking about here and then i'm going to tell you what i think about So as you see in that picture, her hair is like mangled up and it's covered, like her face is completely covered, almost like it's a mask. And why I think that is a very important clue into supporting my new theory on it's definitely, it has to, 99.9% .9 has to be her friend that killed her. Why this supports that theory is because if you watch like crime documentaries and crime cases, you will know that whenever the face is concealed and hidden it's normally because a friend not a friend but like you know what i mean like a, a family member a friend someone who knows the um person doesn't want to see the like deceased body on the floor because it's traumatizing because you know that person normally a random killer would not care because they don't have any like attachment or love to that person so even if they were like arguing like it was a couple normally a husband is not going to want to see his wife's face so they'll take a pillow and they'll cover it or a blanket and cover it so that leads me to think it's definitely one of her friends and they definitely did see her dead whether they did it themselves is one thing or whether they got help and they covered it because they just didn't want to look at it, you know. But I definitely, because of that, it made me look at this and think, hmm, no one else has noticed that her face is covered and like literally all her hair is covering her face. So it leads me to think, think someone who knows her so much and um, is very close to her. And wait to the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final theory. So definitely wait to the end of the video because it's going to tie back in with what I'm saying right now. Definitely someone who knows her did this because why would the face, the hair was just covered perfectly. Almost like they don't want to see her face. Okay, so the second image is um, basically showing her hands like in a defence position. So I'm going to include the images right there and I'll tell you what I think about.
okay so as you can see her hands um are like i'm gonna look at it on my phone um they're like in rigor mortis obviously so stiff so what rigor mortis means if you don't know it's basically like when someone dies their body kind of like it's like let's say like I died and my hand was like that like how she is it, see, it normally stays that way it really takes like a post morgue person to really like kind of bend everything out of the way like for example like one of my friends who passed away um I noticed that her body was just like like very stiff around this area and I noticed like her hand because I remember touching this is my friend her hand in her casket and it literally was like pressed together so I suspect that when she died she was like in a position like that where she was where her chin kind of like you know I can't describe it and then I believe her hand was either like touching this hand and it kind of made the skin do this because her skin stayed like that and I just found it really creepy and strange but anyway so for that I'm going back to the Kanika now so with Kanika her hands are like in this really defensive I'm gonna um look at the picture so I can it's like this one of her hands is like this and then her arm the fact her arm is like by her face like there's a way her arm is by her face um you really have to look at the picture but you'll see what i'm talking about especially that hand that is right by her thighs like that almost like she was fighting and then the fact her arm is like covering her face like this like almost in a it's a defense mode so that picture definitely tells me there was a fight there was an attack and no matter how let's say you know she's drunk I still believe she um, was, I mean, people can be drunk, they could be on drugs, they could be very high, but then if you're attacking someone, the instinct to fight back is going to always be there. No matter how high, no matter how unwell, no matter how drugged or knocked out they, the person is, they're going to defend themselves. And I think Kanika was in a position of defending herself based on the pictures I just showed you. So, um, and again, that comes back to the theory that it's a fight. She was in a fight and if and it's going to support my ending theory on this at the end of the video so the next image i'm going to include inside here is um basically her her whole foot and her whole leg tell a story on its own um i feel like just i'm going to include them so you can see Based on those images, I feel like she was dragged. Um, I definitely do, again, feel there's a fight. She was dragged. Her feet look very swollen. I don't know if that's because of, you know, after death, um, the body does kind of puff up. In general, no matter what happens, you just, you just bloat after death. Like, I don't know if you've seen pictures of someone who's passed away or, you know, people bloat. So I don't know if that's part of post-death, you know, bloating. I don't know, but her foot looks swollen it just looks swollen and um, so based on the images I'm looking at on my phone um it looks like she was dragged and um you can just see like even on her trousers her pants so you say in America as Americans say pants um but if you really look at the um, foot itself there's like little cuts um some might argue that that is part of when she was in the fridge probably struggle in the freezer struggling for her life um it could be but to me it looks more criminal than anything it doesn't look like an accident at all it looks like she was even kicked in the in her foot as well because there's like a dark bruising around her ankle so i don't know if you guys caught that and you know it just looks really messed up a lot of bruising a lot of bruising and bumps on there um it just looks too messed up to just be her fighting for her life in the freezer so and um, that's one leg i'm looking at um they just look really swollen and bloodied and it looks obviously like a fight and if you look at her other shoe it just looks like that was done outside none of that looks like freezer it looks like she was in another location i personally believe she was killed in another location and dumped in the freezer so um I don't know but her trousers her trousers look messy um it was definitely a fight too much marks on her leg it just doesn't make any sense so just take a look at that like take a very close look at those images and tell me what you think in the comment section i also forgot to add that i personally 
um, just looking at the first few images of her, I believe that she was dumped right away in there. They, the people who did it or the person who did it didn't spend long in that freezer area. They literally just dumped her in there, um, probably trying to probably propped her body to make it look somehow, but they didn't really step inside it to, I guess, to not have any evidence in there. Because the reason why I say that is because if you look at some of the images, she looked very close to the door. And I'm gonna close, include some now so you can see what I mean, but she looked really close, too close to the door to have been, like she just looked almost like, as soon as you open the door, someone dumped her and you open it back up and you just see her there. It just She just looked too close to the door, like she was literally dumped in there. And the people or the person who did, who did it didn't step foot inside there. That's just my personal theory. That's the vibe I get looking at that picture. Four is the black bag so remember if you watch my first video my second video on Kinika Jenkins I show that she's going through well a black bag she's dragged through um, what I believe and that quite a lot of people popular be belief is a black bag she was dumped in a black bag and then that's how she was transported to the freezer without being detected um, by any of any suspicious people um, no, any person in the hotel that sees suspicious movement, they're not going to really notice it. They'll just think the hotel are taking out trash. So um, reason why this is really supported now, um, and let me put the footage of the black bag um, being transported through the hotel by staff in the middle of the night, mind you, and in that kitchen area. So I'm going to put it right now. Garbage. That's the first thing I want you to notice. Okay, watch him. Look at that. He turns all the way sideways. And then, watch him. Now, okay, slow it down. I want you to see where he hits the... Now, when he hits this shelf, you see how much stuff is on the shelf? It moved the whole shelf. When that, when her legs hit that shelf, it moved a stainless steel rack of several... That There's got to be two, three dozen trays that have all types of other shit on there. He has to personally take her legs, bring them back from the shelf because it knocked that whole fucking shelf sideways. And then watch, watch the shape of this. How can anyone think that that is a garbage bag with hotel garbage in it? That is a body in fetal position or a body folded over. So as you can see, that's really suspicious and it resembles almost the way her body is in a fetal position inside the freezer. So I don't know if you see exactly what I see, but it's a very eerie image knowing what we know now and knowing that someone died. That's really eerie just looking at, I mean, what is that big that's in a black bag and the shape of it just looks more humanly than trash. So no trash looks that big. So, and if it's big, it's going to be like in a ball shape, if you know what I mean. Like trash, when you take out trash, it's normally in a ball shape. It's not like some kind of body shape, you know. So, um, and at that time of night as well. So, um, next thing, so number four, back to number four. So, the black bag, um, if you look at her picture, I'm going to insert the pictures as well. If you look at her nails, it looks like there's a bit of a black bag um, caught on it. And then um, if you look at her, if you look on the floor, like on her actual trouser on her back side, there's a pieces of the, on her thigh, there's like pieces of that black bag. And then if you look on the floor, there's another piece of the black bag. So that to me looks like somebody that she was literally in that black bag and someone was too sloppy to notice those. Because when you commit a crime, you don't think of being caught you don't think of those tiny little things that might make you get caught so um to me they're not going to look at that we're looking at that because we're looking from a microscopic school oh, i can't say that word right now microscopic view we're looking into the case so whoever did it they're working on impulse they're trying not to get caught they're doing it fast so they're not looking at it as we're seeing it but they if they're looking at it how as we see it they would have taken that those little pieces of evidence that were there away because i mean the black bag that how how does a black bag get in a, fr a freezer that is not being used and that many pieces and on her nail it like got stuck to her nail to me that is like a big piece of evidence 
does that black bag match any of the black bags in the hotel that they use i mean the police i feel did a really shoddy job trying to figure out what happened and um it's disturbing it's quite disturbing and there's something her mom posted on facebook like the other day which makes me think if she were rich if kanika was rich or um someone from a really popular background would they do more research into this or you know someone saying like it just is sad is it because of her race what is it because to me there's there's so much evidence there but i'm not seeing this case being solved or even trying to be solved or even like in the process of being solved because the black bag on her nail i mean this is someone who died why have they got black bag if it's what it is why is there a piece of black bag on her actual nail almost like she was in a black bag i don't know and is that why she's in that position like that was she was she was she still alive in the black bag did she suffer did she suffocate in the black bag i don't know so um that's just something you should look at and i'm going to insert pictures of that inside here so you can see the pictures and you tell me what you think it's a bit disturbing to me those little pieces of black bag are just disturbing so look at the pictures so a lot of people especially women will find this part disturbing i find it very disturbing and i hate that i have to show any of these images but particularly particularly this one in this video um part of her breasts exposed um i hate even saying that but it's like one is open um you know as if someone to me and i'm going to include the image you tell me what you think i think that was exposed because um this was more of like it could have been because of this a rape um, it could be a taunt from her friends who, you know, and I'll get to the end of my theory, but that looks like a taunt to me, like either she was raped and they're just making fun of her at that point. And it makes me wonder why, what, you know, why it was left open or was it, it again, it leads to the whole fight thing. Maybe she was in a fight and, you know, I don't know, but it's just disturbing that that was like she was left in a most humiliating way. That's the most saddest. When you just look at the whole fridge itself in general, that's one of the most saddest ways for any human being, especially a 19 year old, to have to die. The whole place looks dirty and just disgusting and gritty. But to be left in that dehumanising way and to be found in that way is really, really disturbing. I think she it's horrible and horrible for her family to have to look at those images on the internet for the rest of their lives and to have to view her body like that is just disturbing so i'm going to put them inside this link not this link in the video So this is a theory that um, I'm not going to entertain but too much but her pockets were turned inside out and around her body I did find some um, coins like I don't know if it's five cents or a quarter but I found some random coins so I don't know again if that's got to do with the fact that she was probably going crazy in there if we're to believe she was not killed and this was all a freak accident um, they say when someone dies of cold um, of freezing to death they normally in their last moments go insane and start taking all their clothes off which again would would show why her you know her breast one one was like like out that might maybe she was taking off her clothes in a mad haste that could be that but then again when i look at how her arm is and how she's like her, her hand is in rigor mortis like that it doesn't show like someone who was taking off their clothes I don't know it shows more like a fight scene but um there is her pocket her pocket is turned like inside out so did the person try to rob her why was her pocket turned inside out you let me know in the comment section down below but i'm going to include an image here so you can see it being someone who is into makeup and did makeup um for years on people um no this is just off of being a girl no girl likes her eyelashes messed up um and the only time if you know if you wear fake eyelashes um the only time your eyelashes get messed up is if you're crying um your eyes out so 
her eyes like and this again if if we're to go by the theory that she died in the freezer this will make sense but her eyelashes from day one when i looked at the images of her eyelashes they look like they have like when i cry my lashes when i wait when i wear false lashes they kind of stick together and look really heavy when i cry like they get kind of fused together and that's what her eyelashes look like like she was crying her eyes out um for help i guess at the last minute of her life so you know you have to wonder why she was crying so take a look at the images of her eyelashes and you'll see that they're very clumped together they're not like i'm going to come up so you see how like my eyelashes are just very separated they're not clumped together they're just hers were like wet gum together stuck together type of thing which you know looks like someone has been crying basically that's what happens when you cry your eyes out your eye your if you're wearing false eyelashes even with your real eyelashes they do this weird thing where they clump together so they don't look individual anymore so look at the picture of her lashes they're just really messy one which is number eight um her lips her lips are swollen and yes i have heard you know not i've heard i can see she has naturally full big lips but they just look extra they just you can tell like i have big lips but if my lips are swollen you will be able to tell i can tell when you know like i'm, if I'm not well or something or something happened i can tell if my lip is swollen yes big people big lips can get swollen lips because there's a theory that oh she does not have natural lips no i've seen pictures of her in life and they look the pictures of her when she's actually alive and in her natural state her lips don't look as swollen they don't they're not swollen first of all they're just full lips but these lips look swollen and puffy so to me maybe she was punched in the face and you can see like cut and her lip is bleeding so that makes me wonder really everything just points more to foul play than someone being frozen to death it doesn't look like someone frozen to death it looks like she was in the fight of her life with someone and they literally knocked her out that's what all these pictures look like to me so i'm going to include the picture of her lip here so you can see um what i'm talking about i've showed you i want you dolls to do your research and tell me what you think about them um i really looked at things in detail i might have missed something but if i do i'll cover it in another video now i'm gonna get to the whole mtv thing as you can see the whole mtv case made everyone in this whole kind giving flip the hell out so all her friends and i like what's happening because it's like people are finally talking it's been two years i can't believe it's been two years it feels like just yesterday this all happened but it's been two years and now it's like all these people are coming out of the woodworks because it's like the whole mtv thing ruffled their feathers her friends friends i say it very loosely um so anyway um but one person that just stays that is now i'm starting to look at them really carefully because everyone was busy looking at irene and i'm not ruling anyone or saying anyone for sure did something because again i was not there none of us were there we only have theories we can run with we don't have facts because there isn't much information out there from what we're getting we're only going by what they tell us so going based on what they tell us and things they put out there you can kind of piece together who's who's lying and who's telling the truth so one thing I noticed is that Irene Roberts story always stays very much the same like yes it's my birthday party but you know I didn't come with Kanika or whatever like she just kind of she kind of distances herself from Kanika and puts the blame on more of Monifa and then listening to Shamaya's videos because all of these girls went flipped out and went crazy and went on live on Facebook and that's the thing this makes me this all of these live stories make me think there's more to the story than that than what we're being fed and what we know these friends obviously know something really gruesome happened to kanika and it's all going to come out because one thing i know is that things especially when you're dealing with young women emotions and hormones are going to be all over the place stuff one day is going to come out one of them are going to end up confessing what they know but you know this is from chicago and people believe in that no snitching thing this is very big in the black community no snitching but i feel like one of these girls are getting close to snitching or saying something because you can see like there's a lot of motion and mtv as i said ruffled everyone's feathers up and things are starting to hit the fan so based on what i'm seeing um 
Manutha is definitely to me looking more like a prime suspect every single time she goes on Facebook and every time she opens her mouth um she's looking more suspicious and to me she's very detached from Kanika as much as if I'm, I'm going to try in this video it's a long video so it's, it's a really long video her live but I'm going to actually include it so you can watch it and tell me what you think and if I can't I'll put a link down below but I'm going to include it right now so you can watch and tell me what you think about Monifa's live I just said I wasn't I mean stop saying my motherfucking name on live like who the fuck do y'all think y'all is I mean you stay saying my name stay want to play this game stop saying my name because it's a personal beast with you I don't know why the fuck you stay be saying my name like I ain't blame not one motherfucker in that room like I ain't blame none of y'all ass like I don't do all that because at the end of the day only thing that was my fault is I want to look looking looking out for her for real because we was all drunk in that bitch I ain't finna sit here and do all that like I suppose it's been no P's and Q's. I was drunk. I was drunk as fuck. It was me and her drinking the filth to ourselves, basically, really, because Shamaya really ain't drink shit. But y'all want to be on Facebook, steady pointing fingers, steady saying, oh, you was the last person with her, oh, it's your fault, and man, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Then steady talking about some, I'm saying people picking on me. Ain't no motherfucker picking on shit, because I'm not no bitch. Ain't nobody picking on me. Fuck is wrong, child. Who? No. Fuck. Y'all steady going like, every time some new pop up, I don't I'm with all that justice for Kanika. I'm with all that. I, I would have loved that MTV video. But it's basically saying we sold her for $200. We had to hit me all type of shit. That's what I don't like. And when I said people blame me, motherfuckers sharing that video, say, steady saying my name. It's not going to address anything I wanted to address. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Like, don't play with me. Fuck. I don't give no fuck about none of that other shit. But who invites her party? It ain't even about that. Like, I really want and blaming them. Okay, well, I don't want blaming nobody except the hotel. Like, I want blaming Irene. I didn't blame Shamaya. I didn't blame none of their ass. But yet, motherfuckers hop on live. You was the last person with her. Oh, this and that. What? Y'all want to throw me under the bus so bad. I never blame Shamaya. I never blame Irene Chicago. I never blame none of y'all. But y'all so quick to say my fucking name. Why? 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 And I can address anything talking about some clout. I want some clout. I want some attention. I'm always feeling like somebody pick with me. I ain't feeling like nobody pick with me because me and Kanika been friends since I was at Johnson. We been like this. We got years in this, Lord. Y'all that just knew her. If y'all wanted me to be that, like, take it that way, I could have. Y'all that they steady calling me. Like, y'all ass don't know her if I wanted to be technical with her. Y'all grab me and say it all that like I y'all don't know her. I ain't do none of that. Then y'all hop on this bitch and say my man, you was the last person with her, all this and that. I was drunk. What the fuck? I'm always drunk. I was drunk. And I like I couldn't even watch my damn self. The fuck? But yeah, child so quick to get on this bitch, Monifa. Monifa this, Monifa that, Monifa I always said somebody pick with her. Monifa wants some attention. This is my best friend. I can post her how many times as I want to. I miss her. What you, what you expect? Fuck stay every you stay money for this, money for that. Who? Me and Kanika been cool over 12 years, Lord. Y'all just came in the picture. Two or three years ago, y'all just came around. So ain't nobody finna sit here and tell me how I can talk about my best friend. And this is my best friend. Fuck is wrong with y'all. It's always used to be us. Only how we even start knowing y'all because she wanted to get more friends. I met all her through y'all. If y'all want to be too contextual, I met Kanika through y'all. It was used to be just us. Always just us. We never hung with nobody until she said she wanted a new friend. And when she got a new friends, me and her fell out because I ain't like bitches. That's what happened. When she started making new friends, me and her fell back off each other. But when we came back, we always bounced back. Fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all getting on this bitch. They saying my name. I was the last one with her. I probably was the last one with her. I was thinking she walking back in the room with me. I didn't think to look back to see if she was behind me. I'm drunk as hell. But when I seen she wasn't behind me, we started looking for her. I ran, you can stay. Stop saying my motherfucking name on live. All y'all let's can stop saying my name on live. Because ain't nobody going to do shit to me. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't even do this Facebook shit. And then y'all steady blaming each other. Y'all ain't even there blaming each other. Y'all blaming me. Like, I did not once blame y'all, though. Like, I never said it's y'all fault. Never said I ran this show fault. Never told somebody it's her fault. I never said it was none of y'all fault. Fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, that shit so irritating. I, I just said I'm not finna go laugh or none of that. Boom, bro. If y'all want to be technical, y'all don't even know Kanika for real. Y'all don't know Kanika for real. Me and Kanika been best friends since 12 years, or Y'all stay talking about I'm always saying somebody picking with me. I want some clout. This ain't no clout shit. I don't like how they just Like, I would have been happy as hell for the MTV. But basically, they said her friends. 
sold her. We hired a hitman saying we sold her. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed off. And people sharing that shit, saying my name, so I'm gonna clear that shit up. I'm gonna address it. So can't nobody tell me shit. I can say what the fuck I wanna say, regardless. So like I'm trying to see. Motherfuckers were like, what up? Like I'm just saying, like what? I never blame none of y'all ass. Y'all ass so funny getting on this bitch wanna say my name. That shit so petty. It's bogus and it's petty. Like that shit so petty. I always come out. I think if somebody pick with me, can't no motherfucker pick with me. Fuck you talking about. I get busy for real. And I was out here stabbing motherfucker. So if you ever feel like I say somebody pick with me, ain't nobody pick with me. Y'all wanna voice y'all piss, I'm a voice mask. Fuck is wrong with y'all. I never felt like nobody was picking with me. Okay, why? I never said nobody was picking with me. I said motherfuckers got on here sharing that shit. Saying my name. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Y'all always want to make it like I want some How How am a couch on my best friend? Fuck, y'all don't know her. Y'all don't know Kanika for real. Y'all just start coming around. Y'all don't know her. Fuck. A motherfucker can't even tell me shit. Y'all just knew her, her fucking favorite color. Y'all, I swear to God, if we ain't start saying purple, y'all ass won't even knew that was her fucking favorite color. Y'all ass don't know her favorite food. Y'all don't know shit. Y'all ass don't know nothing but want to get on here and talk and want to blame me, say you saying my name. Y'all ass funny, though. Like, y'all funny. Only thing, I'm going to say that that's my fault because I'm always on alert. But I was drunk as hell that day, and I didn't. I want on my P's and Q's. I want thinking about I want thinking. I want none of that. Because we be around Western them. And I, let it, I know for a fact they want to touch us, Lord. So y'all getting on here steady saying Monifa. It's Monifa fault. She was the last one with her. I might have been. I might have been the last one with her. But I ain't kill my best friend. I know that much. And everybody always talking about some what happened. What happened. I don't know what happened to her. I can only know what I remember. The fuck? Y'all, that's y'all favorite line. Ooh, y'all getting me rowdy. Shut up. Tell me I made my own self get rowdy. Girl, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's probably over here. But yeah, I don't know. You just gonna have to bear with it. <laughs> but that's just so stupid. Like, I don't like that. I, don't, I can't find it. Well, you better keep looking. <laughs> I said, I can't find it. But yeah, like. <laughs> Bro, stop playing. Call me when you do. Oh, damn, it is right here. I'm tweaking. I said, I'm tweaking. What? Well, my bed, man. <laughs> but y'all, I ain't trying to be loud because people in here sleep. But, yeah, y'all always saying, they on last, I read them on last, they just saying Monique for fault, it's Monique for fault. Like, how y'all blaming, and y'all was there too, like, I never, I never got on here saying it was y'all fault, I never said it was y'all fault. Then, who gonna think they best friend finna come up missing anyway? As when we could find her, I wouldn't even think of like somebody, something happened to her, I'm thinking like, she drunk, she somewhere in the car sleep. Or she on the she in the hallway just sleep with something. We checked that flow though. Can't nobody tell me I ain't look for her. Okay, what y'all talking about? I look for her. I don't get no fuck what y'all saying. Y'all, if y'all think I didn't look for her, y'all a fool. I just wanna know why I ran them on laugh saying my name, blaming me when y'all was there too. Like it shouldn't even be no if y'all wanna point figures and point at the hotel or we all was there. I just think yeah, that y'all did anything to her. I'm not one saying in a doubt in my mind that Irene killed her, set her up. I know it said Shakira killed her and set her up. I know it said Maya killed her and set her up. I know it said Bree Bree killed her and set her up. Like, I don't get why y'all always saying my name. My name. I ain't reading no comments. Because it's too long. Um, but I just want to know why. Why? Like, why? And it's so frustrating, like it's so irritating, it's frustrating to me. My agenda rushing and stuff, like it's so, I don't even get on Facebook and do this no more, like, cause people gonna think what they wanna think anyways. I just find it like, why? Like why every time some new pop out about Kanika, y'all say my name, y'all get on her, and Monifa was the last one with her, Monifa said her, Monifa did this, Monifa did that. I have every right to say something back if I want to, like, and then, like it just irritated and I'm so calm because it's irritated. Then yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Cause it, but she my sister laughed at me. She did this. 
Cause they don't even want me to go live, but like I just I just wanna know. I and then it is so crazy because I promise you, Kanika asked me to go to the show with her. My hair wasn't even done. Like I, that's how I knew I was coming outside. She told me we was going to the show. And when we got to her when she got off work and she came to pick me up. We went to her house and she was like, you want to go to Irene Hotel for I'm now? I thought we was going to the show because my hair wasn't done. But I'm looking like, fuck it. I let her sister fly down my hair and still win because of the same fact she wanted to go. But, like, I just I just want y'all, like, I don't, I'm still not going to blame y'all. Like, I'm still not going to get on here since y'all want to say it's my fault. It's, it's y'all fault. Like, I'm still not going to do that because I know that it, it ain't y'all fault. It ain't, it ain't my fault either, but the only thing I could say is I wasn't watching my best friend how I should have. But at the same time, y'all got to get what I'm saying. Like, I was drunk too. So, if two drunk people, like, when you thinking, like, you not going. Like, I wasn't thinking, like, something happened to my best friend. I wasn't thinking it. When she wasn't in that room with us, I'm thinking, like, oh, let's go look for her. She probably somewhere sleep on the couch or something, or she went in the car. But I guarantee you not. Me, Shamaya, and Ruby, we looked. We looked for her. We was in places we weren't even supposed to be. I know we weren't supposed to leave that hotel, but her mother asked us to. And I ain't gonna keep saying, like, keep explaining myself or none of that. This is the last laugh I'm doing. I don't give no fuck with who feel any type of way. If y'all wanna bump, y'all can pull up. I'm not worried about nobody. Like, I'm just tired of y'all. I was talking about, I said, people picking with me. I'm tired of y'all saying, I'm cloud chasing. How, how could I be cloud chasing? And it's my best friend. Okay, so in Monifa's life, I get, I, I'm so drained. I feel like I'm losing a brain cell listening to her talk. But basically, she's distance, distancing herself. In, in, in short, she's distancing herself from Kanika's death and disappearance. She is blaming it, putting the blame back on the other girls, almost. And not even, not even that. She's more of trying to put the blame on the hotel and um and saying basically she didn't do it she didn't do it and she's Kanika's best friend there's no way she can do it and um you know the other she she knows Kanika more like basically how can I do it I am like this with her like I'm she's loyal to if anything she should you know if anything she's like the victim she's making herself like a victim she's saying basically saying how she can't go to work or she has to stick in one job because she can't get a new job easily because people know her name and blah 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 I'm sure it's not that hard um but this is what she's saying like basically she's cancelled everywhere she goes people know her people know her from this case which is possible but um it's all about all I got from her live video is me 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 um me 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 I was Kanika's best friend blah 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 um Kanika um you know doesn't know you other girls um but you know we've known each other from third grade blah 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 it's all about her and Kanika and it makes me wonder this is just my theory it's either they were in something together like in a relationship and no one really knew because it just sounds way too close for just a best friend relationship I know girls get really attached to their best friend but this was a little bit way too attached um, and I don't want to speak too much on that, but I just feel like they were a little bit too close. So to me, it sounds almost like Manifa is obsessed, obsessed with Kanika and like in Loki in love with her because um, she was just, she seems jealous. She seems really jealous and hurt that um, Kanika is basically kind of moving on and branching out, making new friends. She seemed to not like it. So that gives me what we all have been looking for in this case which is a motive why would her friend or friend set her up and to me it all points to jealousy jealousy is definitely the motive especially when women commit crimes jealousy is always behind something and i feel like um monisa monifa probably saw kanika she was losing grip of her and um because she seemed to be like the one in control in, of their relationship and friendship. So um, I feel like she was losing grip of her. And she said something like Manifa. She said something like Kanika was trying to make new friends. And she didn't like that. And she was just not in for that. So I feel like she set her up. She's like, this is what I personally think. Don't run with it, but tell me what you think. So based on from what we're seeing, it's like, if I can't have you, no one can. Um, and she set her up to be killed. And she set her up to either be raped and killed. And got paid got paid from it from whoever from the men and i feel like that party was set up ready for her to walk into it and be executed killed so um and this as i told you from the beginning i'm going to come back into the theory about her face being covered i feel her face was covered because it was 
I personally believe it was Monifa and she didn't want to see her friend in that horrible situation and dead because that's going to forever haunt her and I feel she's very harassed I feel like the other girls kind of know what happened um it's just also confusing but tell me what you think in the comment section down below I personally do believe that this is now looking more like her friends are in it and I guess the hotel has something to do with it too either someone who works there one of the security men raped her um and was paid paid one of her friends to have her you know paid Bonifa or something to have her that's my resting theory because um and that's why they were able to access the freezer all these parts have to work for it to make sense so um let me know what you think inside on the in the comment section down below um let me know if you have a new theory based on all these pictures i just showed you and my theory and i look forward to watching the mtv video today and seeing what that is and um the mtv documentary and i might do my commentary on it I, I might i might not we'll see but definitely stay tuned tuned on my channel i have more videos coming up um lots of you know i feel like i want to do the ken kendrick johnson case next let me know what case you want me to do next and i will cover it on my channel subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you dolls in my next video bye thank you so much for watching bye